Hi friends, this is a short video which I have made to indicate the importance of roots number in the type of hydraulic gym which is swarming. Different types of hydraulic gyms are developed in a horizontal floor. So the jump form and its characteristic mainly depend on the roots number F1 of the incoming flow, which is expressed as V1 by root G1, where V1 is the mean velocity of flow before the jump, G is the acceleration due to gravity and Y1 is the pre-jump or initial depth of flow. So hydraulic jumps may be classified according to the value of F1. So to remember the importance F1 have on the type of hydraulic jump formation, I am here giving an illustration. Consider the formation of a river. The brown part shows the hilly areas. The river which is originating from the hill, which is in the juvenile stage, is like this. Then a stable jump is formed. After that, when it reaches the downward basin, it forms an oscillating flow. Then some currents which are having some rotational currents on the surface or small rollers on the surface, then more or less it keeps on steady. So if you can remember the formation of the river from its origin up to the uh, tributary section, you can easily remember how roots number is influencing the type of hydraulic jump. So, F1 is equal to 1, that is V by root G1 equal to 1 means the flow is critical and hence no jump can form. If F1 is equal to 1 to 1.7, that is in this region, the flow is called as undular. But it is 1.7 to 2.5, it is weak. 2.5 to 4.5, it is oscillating. 4.5 to 9, it is steady. 8 to 9, it is strong. I describe each one. When the river is in its juvenile stage, that is at its very young stage, at the formation site, the jump action is very rough, which results in a rough water surface with strong waves rushing towards the downstream from the origin. So the jump action is however effective since the energy dissipation may reach up to 85% and sometimes greater than 85%. This is what is called a strong jump. So if roots number greater than 9 will give you a strong jump similar to what you see in the juvenile stage of the river formation and the energy dissipation reaches greater than 85%. And after that, a stable and well balanced jump is developed. The action and position of this jump are least sensitive to variation in tail water depth. So the gist jump has the best performance. The energy dissipation ranges from 45 to 70 percent. This jump is called as a steady jump. The fruits number ranges here from 4.5 to 9. And the next section, when it reaches the downstream basin, the entering jump oscillates back and forth from the bottom to the surface and back again without any periodicity. So the jump is thus called an oscillating jump. The energy dissipation in this region ranges from 20 to 45 percentage and fruits number ranges from 2.5 to 4.5. Further downstream, a series of small rollers develop on the surface of the jump but the downstream water remains the smooth. So the velocity throughout is uniform but the energy dissipation is less being only about 20 percentage. This is called as weak jump. The fruit number range is between 1.7 and 2.5. And further down, the water surfaces show some relation and the jump is called as undular jump. The energy dissipation is quite low, being only about 5 percent each. Crude number ranges from 1 to 1.7. So from this, you can get an idea of how fruits number is influencing the effectiveness of hydraulic jump formation. If it is like the formation of the river, if it is on the initial or the near the origin, the jump will be highly strong. As the river flows downstream towards its tributaries, as the distance of the river from the origin increases, the efficiency of the jump increases, energy dissipation decreases. That you can see clearly here. Hope this helps. Thank you.